Who inspired you to get into this career? Was it your family or were there other people in the industry that were inspirations for you? Both. Not only watching my parents, but the filmmakers that they worked with uh, that I got to be around at a very young and incredible, uh, incredibly impressionable age. I spent a summer vacation when I was seven. Both my parents were working not far from home. My dad was doing a film in LA and my mom was doing a film in Arizona. And so I spent the whole summer going back and forth between their two locations. My dad was doing a film with Hitchcock, and my mom was doing a film with Martin Scorsese. And at the end of that summer, I said, I want to be an actor. Well, it's like, of course you want to be an actor. You spent the whole summer watching Scorsese and Hitchcock. But it, they were such huge influences on me. Being in a movie family, did you always know that was what you wanted to do? I did, but it's an odd thing. You know, it's the family business, so it sort of is. But for me, it was sort of all I ever loved. What does true craftsmanship in film mean to you? A true craftsman, I would say, is someone who is a deep collaborator. Um, everyone on a set is an equal and has a joy in developing a career on the creative as a way to take amazing risks. I'm really interested in films and filmmakers and, and roles uh, that look at the broken place in people and in our world, um, hopefully in a subversive and somewhat funny way because I think you can get away with saying a lot more sometimes. Um, and I've just been really lucky to be around several of those people. And what would you say your passion is? What is what drives you in your life and in this field? Since I'm husky, it's <laughs> very apropos that I say it's voice that interests me most. I'm really passionate about every individual knowing that they have a right to voice, that their voice matters, and politically we see that more and more. I mean, we watched in Egypt people change the world with iPhones. You can tell a story about uh, an injustice literally on your iPhone, and you know, the world has changed because there were a lot of people, certainly during the civil rights movement, who were forced to be voiceless and then particularly as a woman playing characters that would be written off ordinarily. Those are the ones I like. What has been your favorite Cannes memory so far? And it can be this year or of years past. Oh, you know, um, I was just saying, like one of the great memories I had at Cannes in 93, 92, we won the Palme d'Or for the film Wild at Heart. We had the dinner to commemorate uh, winning and, and our celebration with the President Gilles Jacob and his wife. And Nick Cage got up on the table and sang Love Me Tender, uh, which his character <laughs> sings to me in the film. That was very memorable um, for Can. So far here, just being with my father and Alexander is, you know, a, a great blessing. So I look forward to many memories being made over the next few days. Yeah.